Way from Columbia, South Carolina. Y'all scared the shit out of me. When y'all walked up, I said, oh shit, they're gonna party right there. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Your first comedian coming to the stage. I'll give it up for my boy, Saul Scott Jones. What's happening? Nah, I need to go end it in that. Repeat after me. What's happening? That's my favorite intro ever, y'all. I've been doing comedy almost three years, and every time I say what's happening, repeat after me, the white people be feeling so involved. They're like, oh my gosh, it's slang. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's all like we're saying the N word. <laughs> Especially the white women, they're like, what's happening? I saw y'all, Columbia. I saw y'all. But I'll leave it to my next point. Um, my biggest fear, white women. Okay. Okay. When y'all two walked up, y'all scared the shit out of me. I looked at Mark and like, hey man, like look at that pale white skin. I don't know. Yes, really. I actually got molested by a white woman. We got a call to Me Too movement. Y'all want to hear my story? Yes. All right, here's my story. So I was doing some comedy up in um, North Carolina. Um, I don't know. They're different some, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're, they're different there. Cool, That's cool. Cool. Well, I was doing some stuff and um, I was getting ready to, to come up on stage. So I was behind stage. I was getting myself together. I was doing paces back and forth. And this white lady comes out. And she's like, oh my God, you look nervous. <laughs> Because we call I said a little bit. I said a little bit. Just like, can I help you get rid of some of that nervous? Oh God! And before I can answer, she puts her hands on my face. Now repeat after me. Let all those negative emotions roll away. 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 And then it got weird. She was like. Let all those negative emotions oh. roll away. <laughs> and in my head, it was like, abort, abort, abort. But my dick was hard. So I didn't know what to do. I panicked. I went, oh, put me his hand. I didn't want to touch him. Because y'all know, like I know, black man hugged up in the back room with a white lady in North Carolina. That's the easiest police report ever. Got me fucked up. But I got some head. Now I'm playing, 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 playing. <laughs> so, um, like I said, my name is Sauce, and I'm 29 years old. And you know, when you get to be, you know, 29, you know, I'm not, I'm not old, but I'm not young either. So I've, I know myself, you know. So I've come to terms with myself, and I figured out that I am a punk ass dude. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm a punk ass dude. It is what it is. Like, like, ladies, don't, don't, you know, don't be afraid. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you go out with me, don't be afraid. Like, I will defend your honor. You know, if somebody came with that disrespect. I'm just gonna shoot the shit out of them. <laughs> now, I don't say that to be like gangster or anything like that. It's just that I'm white skinned and I bruise easy. I can't be out here fighting. That's what it is. Because like, I could get in the fight, win the fight. And still, like I lost. <laughs> and I'm going to get annoyed trying to explain to people that I won the fight when I'm looking like an overripe banana peel. Like, it is what it is. But I'm going to tell you the moment that I found out that I was a punk ass dude. Now, every man in here has done this. Every man has done this. Ladies, don't let them lie to you. Every man has done this. I was at home watching kung fu movies and shit. And I was just like, I can do that shit. I can do that shit. I wish a motherfucker would come He come and try me. I'm going to hit his pressure point. Turn his whole goddamn left side of his body off. And the moment I said that, the moment I said that, a roach grew wind and flew on my hair. Like, ah! Get it out! Get it out! You know what it is? Now, look. We got some tough guys in here, but when the roaches fly, everybody a bitch. <laughs> and I know a thing or two about roaches, because I'm kind of an expert. I had them. I had roaches. So, like, I was 20 years old when I moved out of my parents' house. I was in college. I moved into this old, dusty trailer. It was a um, two-bedroom, two-bath, and it was five fifty a month. Cheap as fuck. Especially when you're splitting it. When I was splitting it between me, my roommate, and the 50 roaches that we had. <laughs> so, at 
after we divided everything up, my rent was like twelve dollars, your two is included. <laughs> but the thing is about my roaches is I had some different type of roaches. They was petty as fuck. I'll tell you how petty my roaches was, you know what I'm saying? I could be at home all day not doing anything, not a roach in sight. Soon as I get some company. Yep. These motherfuckers coming out line dancing. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Two hours one time. Like, what the, where did they come from? Where? Where did they come from? You had a roach. Where did they come from? <laughs> but anyway, I mean, one time. I mean, one time, me and my roommate, we had a movie night. We had two young ladies over, and we was going to go watch some movies or whatever, right? Soon as we turned the movie on, goddamn roast started crawling across the wall. <laughs> and nobody else saw the roast but me. I was the only one that saw the roast. As a matter of fact, who in here has seen Gone with the Wind? Yeah. You see, what's your favorite part? Oh, it don't even fucking matter because I didn't even see the movie. Because for an hour and 45 minutes, I'm watching this fucking roach on the wall. Hoping that these women did not see this damn roach. Because at the end of the night, I still want some ass. And everybody knows you can't get ass in the roach house. That's just, that's just part of the game. You can't get, sir, you have never got ass in your roach house, have you? Exactly. And fuck exactly. But speaking of roaches, man, I seen a uh uh article on Facebook. I don't know if it's true or not, but they said that roaches and shrimp are the same species. That's what it said. Now, the educated side of my brain was like, no. Shrimps are crustaceans, and roaches are the spawns of Satan. <laughs> But the curious side of my brain begs the question, what if? What if roaches and shrimp were the same species? Hmm. So I smoked some weed to think about it. <laughs> Does that mean when a merman brings a mermaid to his apartment, does she be like, ugh, you got shrimp in your apartment? <laughs> And you know you can't get ass in the shrimp house. It is what it is. It's crazy. It's crazy. So did, did, did y'all hear about um, Eddie Winslow, his little boo thing? Okay, I, I didn't check my audience, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hey, see like a step-by-step -step audience, you know what I'm saying? Eddie, I'm talking about the actor that played Eddie Winslow in Family Matters, you know? Yeah, you know, he had a little boot thing with, 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 with a transgender woman, you know. That boy got a rare condition. <laughs> in this day and age, well, maybe in this day and age it's not a rare condition. You know, you know, the, the trans people, we are around. I ain't going to say we, even though I look like a stud. You know? <laughs> transgender people are around. And I think he may be on to something. Because, like, ladies, on paper... Transgender women may be better than real women. Ooh, oh, I see your face. You're like, I don't. No, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I got some logic. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fellas, have y'all ever been playing the game like 2K or some shit, and then your woman come in and start nagging you about playing the game? Ain't that way with a transgender woman. That's your homeboy. <laughs> she gonna come in and drop 40 on the damn self. That's what it is. Another thing is, we don't ever got to have those awkward moments where we go to the grocery store and have to buy tampons. You gonna let that sink for a second? Yeah. <laughs> Cause that pussy man made, it don't need no oil changes. <laughs> we don't need a service manager. <laughs> for everybody that's outside, y'all know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> and my last point to make about that, uh, so um, ladies, y'all always tell me this. I always hear this all the time. They say that women eat vagina better than men because women have vagina, so they know how it works. So by that logic, a transgender woman should be able to do something better than real women. We're going to see who all smart and put two and two together. 
ma'am, you look like you <laughs> had a hard time. <laughs> now you saw dick better because they had one. <laughs> I was waiting for someone else to respond. Huh? <laughs> I was waiting for someone else to chime in. You were waiting for somebody else to chime in? <laughs> Columbia got it. She got it all the time. She got it all the time. Not you? Oh, they, they don't suck dick better than you, do they? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Is a red condition. But um, while I'm up here, I might as well give y'all my TED talk. Uh, I'm here to give some advice to a certain demographic of men. Um, medium dick guys. Woo. Yeah, medium dick guys. They got some advice for y'all. We got to stop telling women that we have big dicks before we fuck them. We got to. It does nothing but lower our chances. <laughs> because not all women like big dicks. Ain't that right, Columbia? <laughs> Look, oh no, she like them big. Right, Look, she like them big. That's oh, Columbia, right? Both of y'all. No, no, you said I wasn't Columbia. So. Uh uh. <laughs> she like big dicks. <laughs> she probably lose her job over some big dicks. <laughs> Look, 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 see? <laughs> See, I, I ain't, see, I ain't got no, no big ass deal like that. Like, I ain't got one of the things that, 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 that a woman have you drop her off at work and you get to drive her car all day. I ain't got one of them type of got I got that gold 50 50 on the bills. Like, I, I got the average dick to where if my woman is about to cheat on me right before she do it, she'll be like, well, at least he tries. <laughs> that, that's, that's not big I But anyway, we got to stop telling women that we have bigger dicks before we fuck them. Because it doesn't below our chances. Because not all women like big dicks. I call them window shoppers. Because telling a woman that you have a big dick is the equivalent of a small shop putting their most expensive item in the window. She's going to walk by. See that that nigga's out of her price range. <laughs> Go get some medium dick off Fashion Nova. <laughs> it, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, y'all like that one? How many niggas have got medium dick? Okay, we got one. We got one in the club. I got some advice for um for big dick niggas too. Stop showing off. <laughs> Stop. Save some for the rest of us. Stop showing out. But all my little dick meal, I got some advice for y'all too. And I'm saying y'all ain't gotta feel left out. Get money. <laughs> Simple as that. Get money. <sighs> you know, I did not know that a micro penis was an actual thing. I was feeling bad for myself one day, and I looked it up on the internet, and I suddenly felt great. I was just like, thank you, God. It is what it is. I got my little six inches. I will work with that. It is what it is. <laughs> so, Columbia, where, where, um, where exactly in Columbia do you live? Well, now, she lives in Lexington. I live in Blackwood, please. Oh, okay. Let's take them black words. So, but we're um, from Columbia Hot area. Yeah, we, we okay. just call Columbia Hot. Okay, I'm just trying to get a range of where I can go to find some single bombs. He'll tell you where Columbia Hot is. You can't go over there now. I'm not going to get very far. Get over there. I'm trying to get right here. <laughs> well, we'll send them this way. No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking for you. You don't, no. you don't want to say you fucking dick better than transgenders. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to do, man. Looking like a whole lifetime special over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just trying to get in where I fit in. You feel me? Mm. I, 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 I like older women. I, I do. Oh! Oh! Are y'all older than me? <laughs> are, are you older than me? I am not. You're not? Yes, she is. No. Yeah, she is. She's older than me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she ain't about to lie to me. Damn, uh, I'm kind of a cool girl hunter, you know? I know. I just sniff them out. <laughs> I smelled your white pearl perfume from over here. Damn, uh, I, I see the way you're holding that cup. Wino. Boom. This is This is it. Mm. Alright, whatever. 
I like I like all the women because they're the only ones who like me. Because women my age and younger, they say, mm, light skinned men play it out. Mm -hmm. All the women grew up listening to Prince, so they love my yellow hair. <laughs> It is what it is, man. I was messing with this one older lady in a nursing home. Oh. <laughs> Gertrude, I love Gertrude. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude did this little thing that I like so much. You know what I'm saying? She take a dentures. <laughs> <laughs> Do what I say. No dentures, no dentures. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm Sons Got Joke. That's my time, and y'all take it easy. Have a good night. Y'all give it up for Sons Got Jokes one more time.